Hey guys, this is Anthony from Airstream and DFW coming to you from our 45,000 square foot indoor showroom. I'm going to talk to you today about 2018's RV of the year. That is the, uh, the Base Camp. Uh, this particular model is the Base Camp X. Uh, they introduced a new package last year uh, to make the uh, already agile Base Camp a little more agile. Uh, it gives it some more off-road capabilities. It's got larger wheels and tires uh, than the uh, previous Base Camp did. It's got a three inch lift kit on it. It's got a couple other things that I'll show you when we step to the front of the trailer. Um, this thing is very lightweight. It's only about 2,800 pounds, so it's really easy to tow with most smaller vehicles. Uh, 16, 13, 16 foot, three inches front to back. It's a little shorter than the typical Airstream too. It's on eight foot 10. Now it is a little taller than the regular base camp, so if you looked at other, the, uh, the non-X base camps, it's about three inches taller than that uh, because of the, the, that lift kit they put on it. It's got tons of storage. It's got a lot of special features you're not gonna get on the other, uh, on the other base camps. So let's uh, step to the front and I'm gonna show you some of those things. All right guys, you're gonna see a few things that are a little different with the base camp in comparison to some of the other Airstreams. Uh, first of all, they put a manual tongue jack on here. It's not a big deal, it's a very lightweight trailer, so using that manual tongue jack, save, it's gonna save you some 12 volt. You don't have to worry about the electrical elements of it, so it, it's nice on a small trailer like this. Especially with the base camp, because you're gonna be, you're probably gonna be taking this thing places that you won't take the other Airstreams. This is really designed for your action adventure type camper, uh, somebody who's gonna take the trailer off the beaten path. Uh, that's why on most of our base camps, we order them with solar. Um, it, it is one of the options that base camp offers, but we pretty much consider that a, a standard feature on our base camps here at Airstream and DFW. So uh, most of our units are gonna have the solar. Same with that X package. I, I mentioned that before. We aren't gonna really order any base camps without that X package. Um, I mentioned the wheels and tires it gives you, but it also gives you uh, the, the, the steel rock guards up on the front uh, gives you the solar guards on the windows so it's going to give you a little bit more protection up on the front. We've also redesigned the propane tank here. Um, it still holds the tanks and sides but it gives you a little bit more storage on the top, a place to put the, uh, the power cord, you can put your, your crank for your, your stabilizer jacks if you want to. Now let's step back and look at the rear of the trailer. You notice from the back of this base camp it's got a very unique look. Um, different than anything else the Airstream builds. Um, it doesn't have those iconic, uh, iconic rear windows, but it is very, very unique. Really a cool profile on this trailer front and back. Again, not very wide, it's only seven foot wide, uh, not very tall, but you do get a full size spare underneath here. You do get two stabilizer jacks in the back, which I kind of mentioned up front. Uh, steel cast rear lights, uh, but one of the really unique things is the way this thing works as far as storage goes. You've got this huge door in the back to really slide in all those large things that you want to take with you. So surfboards, kayaks, canoes, skis, bicycles, anything you want to take with you will go inside this trailer. All right guys, back here it's, it's, it's a very versatile area of the trailer. So that's one of the things that they really focus on with the base camp is how can we make a trailer that does a whole lot in a little bit of space. So this whole area back here can be used like a, like a dinette, like, kind of like I'm sitting at right now, because there's two tables that you can put right here. Uh, you can also make this whole area into a giant bed if you want to. Uh, you can make it into a half a bed. So if you don't want to make the whole thing into a bed, you can just do a half a bed. Um, so there's lots that you can do back here. There are three color choices. If you're not crazy about this color, um, it does come in a blue and a green. The green is new for 2020. Uh, it's, a very, uh, it's got the same kind of cross stitching here, but it is green here as well. You got nice storage racks overhead, so um, even though, again, it's a small trailer, it is not short on storage. You have lots of storage in this trailer. Uh, roof mounted air conditioner. Um, that is one of the uh, one of the few options this trailer has, but again, here, in, here at Airstream and DFW, we are not gonna order any base camps without air conditioning. They all have air conditioning. Um, Airstream does use a unique air conditioner on the base camp that is only on the base camp. Um, it is a very low profile air conditioner, because again, we're trying to keep this trailer uh, smaller form factor so it has a very low profile air conditioner. Uh, here's that door we talked about before. Uh, again, bring things inside and out through this door. Uh, there is a screen that will come down to uh, cover this area as well so if you want to leave the door open you can. Um, and you do have full storage in this area as well so when we lift this seat up you do have lots of storage under here also. So let's step up we're going to look at the kitchen now. One of the really unique things about the way they designed this base camp is they went ahead and put the whole kitchen up front. So Again, I know I've said it a lot of times, but small trailer, big features. Um, you get a full-size sink, you get a full-size cooktop with two burners, you get two sets of 
USB and 110 plug. There's one here and there's one over there by the sink also. Something they've changed. So if you've looked at base camps in the past and you've read online and they had some problems with the refrigerator the first couple of years, they, they, they put these things out. Um, so what they did was they went to a Nova Cool 12 volt compressor based refrigerator. We've talked about this on some of the other videos. The, the unique things about this refrigerator are uh, one, it's, it's a 12 volt compressor based refrigerator. So it, it cools off very quickly. Uh, it does not run off propane. It does not produce the same amount of heat that the other refrigerators use. To. So you don't have to have the ventilation out in the front like you would look at on some of the older base camps. So it's really a great change for the base camp. It really fits into this trailer very, very well. Um, microwave, uh, that's the third option. We've talked about the options that are available. This is one of the options also. Not a very big microwave, but again, you don't need a whole lot of, you don't need to, don't need a really big microwave on this trailer. Uh, more storage down here. So lots of storage here. A full size as well so if you come in with your muddy shoes and you need somewhere to throw your muddy shoes you've got somewhere to put those now before we wrap up I do want to show you the bathroom that's in this thing because uh, again it, it's a, it is a fully self-contained trailer so you do get all the same benefits in this small trailer that you get in a big trailer so a full bathroom uh, nice big bathroom everything's designed to get wet inside there so don't worry about stuff getting wet um, it's what they call marine style bathroom Porcelain toilet, so a, a better toilet than you get a lot of times on these small trailers. Uh, there is a place there too to pull the, the shower hose through. So if um, you're going to hide, and you're, you're, you're dirty, you're filthy, you're at the beach, and you want to kind of clean off before you come inside, that gives you an opportunity to do that. Guys, yeah, that's it. The 2020 Base Camp X here at uh, Airstream and DFW. I know it's a small trailer. If you don't want a small trailer, don't let that stop you from coming out. I say this all the time. We have everything here from 16 to 33 foot. We're inside a 45,000 square foot showroom. There's no reason to go outside and look at these trailers. There's no reason to walk around somebody's hot asphalt. Come to Airstream at DFW and see us.